Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So last time I did a, a comparison between the Mac Mini and the NVIDIA and the AMD GPU. Have you wondered about the performance difference between Apple Silicon and Intel Silicon? Let's find it out in this video. I actually still have a MacBook Pro from 10 years ago. So that's a 2014 MacBook. One of the audience, he asked about how Olama performs in the Intel chip. I think uh, it can be fun to do a uh, testing on the ancient MacBook. I actually tried to install the Olama in the 2014 MacBook and uh, surprisingly it actually works. Although because the model I had only had 8 gigabytes of RAM, I couldn't run quite a big model. I was able to run one of the small model. It's Q1 2.5 Kodo for the 0.5 billion model. So that's still quite many parameters, right? So I was able to use this one and uh, I'm able to, to run it here. So on the left side, this is the 2014 MacBook Pro. Next to it is uh, the MacBook Air, which is 2020. So with M1 Apple Silicon, with only eight gigabytes of unified RAM. The third one is the MacBook Pro, which was last year, 2023, M3 Pro with 36 gigabytes of RAM. The last one is the most recent released Mac Mini with M4 chip with 16 gigabytes of unified RAM. So as I did uh, in previous video, I will use the same prompt to do that. So yeah, I will use uh, this uh, question, copy paste it to all other machine and then I will start with the slowest one from the 2014 MacBook Pro. So remember it's a uh, Intel CPU. So there will be no GPU acceleration. So it's expected to be really, really slow. So let's uh, kick off for yet. And also due to the bandwidth, I think the initial loading is also very slow. Okay, let's do the next one. Next one, next one. Okay, so because of the next, uh, the first one is just too slow, I will try another one. Two, three. Okay, we see that uh, it's a significant difference between the ancient uh, MacBook and uh, the nowadays MacBook. So as, as we can see the results, it's also apparently the 2014 MacBook shows a uh, 2.2 tokens per second speed compared to the 2020 MacBook Air with M1 chip, which is around 50 tokens. So that's about 20 times faster than the 2014 model. And uh, we also, as expected, the M3 Pro chip performs the fastest which is uh, 124 tokens per second. And uh, the Mac mini speed is uh, 110 tokens per second. So I would say, as you can see that it's as ex expected, uh, the M4 is much, much faster than the 10 years ago's model. Okay, I think uh, that uh, is a very, very quick comparison. So 
because、uh, you know because of the size issue, I don't、uh, expect、uh, the Intel MacBook can be really really useful. However, I think it demonstrated that、uh, like after ten years, the twenty fourteen MacBook Pro can still work, right? So that's really really amazing, right? Because I got it like ten years ago. Currently, I I'm not using it anymore. So probably occasionally, if I needed to some quick、uh, lookup, I I still you can use it. It's still usable. So I think the point is that、uh, Apple is surprisingly reliable, right? So so one notebook you can use it after like ten years later. I think that can speak、uh, really really well for itself. Okay. So I think that's a a good、uh, takeaway point. All right. So, but as I mentioned, because of the limited、uh, RAM for the 2014 model, so I will I will close that one. For the rest、uh, of the video, I want to do a comparison between the Apple Silicon MacBook because it seems they are all Mac uh, MacBook uh, Silicon. So we can also come run it、uh, run the like a.、Uh, Faster model. So in this case, I we will run the seven B model. So that can be a fair comparison between them. Okay. So let's、uh, let's copy the same question to each, and、uh, let's start running them. Right. We do see that、uh, the M3 and the M4 are very very close to each other, while the M1 is、uh, kind of slow among them, slowest among them. That's also quite、uh, understandable. All right, we see the results、uh, coming out,、uh, it, which is 11.89 tokens per second for the M1 chip, 26.2 tokens per second for the M3 Pro chip, and.、Uh, About around the twenty tokens per second for the M4 chip. So similar to what I showed、uh, in previous vi video. So the point here is that because、uh, previously I didn't、uh, do a test for the M1, but here adding the M1, we we can see that、uh, the if you have a M1 chip, I think it can can really be a very very significant、uh, increasing、uh, in terms of the. Capacity, right? So basically, it's almost double the speed. However, if you have a M3 chip, I don't think、uh, there's lots of improvement between M3 and M4. So I think that's the、uh, quicker takeaway from this. All right. In addition, I want also want to show you uh like a direct 